Shields up, Iron Breakers. We're on here coming at you with another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at Dauntless. More specifically, we're going to be going over one of Dauntless's weapons. This time around, we're taking a look at the axe. Now, as with my previous videos on Dauntless weapons, the objective of this video is to give you guys an idea of what it is like to play with the axe. I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of axe moves, a couple of axe combos, and at the end of the video, I will show you guys a full hunt with me doing commentary whilst you using the axe so that you guys can get a feel for what the playstyle of this weapon is. So having said that, what is so special about the axe? Well, in my opinion, the axe might just be one of the harder weapons to master uh, in the current iteration of Dauntless as of the recording of this video, because it is going to require that you have a certain amount of knowledge of the behemoths that you are fighting, because the axe is a weapon that takes advantage of charging its attacks, and charging attacks with a weapon is going to leave you vulnerable for a specific amount of time. So you have to know when the openings are going to happen against the behemoth that you are fighting so that you can prepare and charge your attacks at that time. Now, the special gauge on the axe is essentially a gauge that only fills if you land charged attacks. And the more charged those attacks are, the more gauge you will gain. And once you fill up the gauge all the way, you will be able to unleash one devastating attack into the behemoth which is going to deal massive amounts of damage and it is going to level up your axe which is going to increase the damage the axe is dealing this can be leveled up a certain amount of times i don't know exactly how many i think it's three and uh, at that point your axe is going to be dealing just like ridiculous amounts of damage and that's what this weapon's all about it's all about the burst damage so let's get into the basic moves as with all of the weapons in Dauntless, you have your light attack, which you guys can see right here. I'm just spamming light attack. However, it is going to be nuanced when it comes to the axe with the fact that you can basically uh, charge it up, like I said. So basically, if you hold down light attack, you're going to charge it up. This is the maximum charge, and then you're going to unleash it. Now, um... Something that they've added in the latest patch is that you don't want to just let the attack go. You want to release it at the exact moment that you hit that third charge. Because if you do that... Okay, the animation kind of glitched there. You guys will notice that we have that special animation right there. And that essentially gives you resolve. And resolve... What, what that means is that the monster cannot interrupt your attack if you get it up to that point. Which, once again, it is going to require you to have a certain amount of knowledge of the monsters that you are fighting in order to be able to pull off this particular move, which is going to be really powerful and it is going to be worth it, but it is going to be challenging. Now, that is the light attack. Then we also have the heavy attack. Now, the difference between this is that the light attacks are going to be vertical, and stationary. You're not going to be able to move while you are doing this. On the other hand, if you do the heavy attacks, they're going to be horizontal, but they allow you to move. Now, the very first um, heavy attack does not benefit from the resolve buff, unless I personally can't hit it, but I can't seem to get the resolve buff to trigger from that particular attack, so I don't think it is implemented. And when I say I don't think, it's because currently I don't think that the combo list is updated, so that's why. Anyway, um, the way that this works is that you can then chain these attacks together. The way it works is you get one charged attack and then one regular attack that is not charged and then another charged attack. And you can do this for both um, light attacks as well as strong attacks. So let me give you guys an idea. So charged attack, regular attack, charged attack again, and then regular attack again. And this actually has a special finisher now where you can spam it. This was just light attacks, okay? And this is a pretty cool finisher, by the way, which essentially it increases in speed and the amount of times that you can hit the monster, but it is very hard to pull off. You're going to need a big opening to pull something like this off. But again, this is just a light attack combo. So let me show it to you guys again. Charge. Into regular, into charge again. Into regular, and then you can spam it. Just notice that it is also using up your stamina. 
So keep that in mind if you need to perform a dodge at the end of the attack. And then you have the same thing for the heavy attack combo, which is one, two, three, unleash, and then attack, and then charge up again. And this time, you're going to get two finishers instead of the, the amount of finishers that you get with the light attack. And now the cool thing about this is that you can swap midway. So say you're doing the heavy combo, and now you can swap into the light combo. See how we swapped into the light combo for the finisher? And you can also do it the other way around. So you can start with the light attack combo. Oops, with that, sorry about that. And then swap into the heavy attack combo. That lets you basically um, do that three attack in one go type of thing which is it's pretty cool it, it gives it a much more diverse move set than what we used to have and um it's just once you actually chain all this stuff together with the friggin special move like this might be my current favorite weapon even if if i'm gonna be completely honest i still don't totally master it but if you can master this weapon this, this to me is going to be one of the strongest weapons in the game. But again, it is also going to be one of the hardest ones to master. Now, I haven't gotten to play with the War Pike yet because I didn't play enough of the game to unlock it. But once the game goes into open beta, I'm going to be playing a whole lot of Dauntless. And you can expect me to touch up on the War Pike at that point. But anyways, let me show you guys a hunt with the axe so that you guys can get an idea of what to expect of this beastly weapon. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be hunting a Drax, and I got to be completely honest, I'm not feeling particularly confident as I get instantly zapped before the fight even starts, because I haven't really fought that many um, Drasks in this, um, in this particular patch of the game, and Drask is a bit of a pain in the ass, so let's see if we can, if we can make something happen here. I'm going to start with the uh, heavy attacks, mostly because they give me a little bit of mobility. So that I can hopefully start filling up my gauge if I can actually land these. That was a nice hit. Let's recover our stamina up a little bit. I'm actually going to sheathe the weapon in between. Oof. Damn, that hurt. These friggin' hip checks, they're like Plesioth level hip checks over here. That's a Moss Honor reference for those of you guys that maybe play that one. Oh no! Dude, can you believe that? He literally looked away as I was swiping at his face. That was like a clean hit, and then it became nothing. Let's see if we can actually land some here. Uh, this is not going too well for us. Nice. Oof. Come on. Oh man, I was going for that light attack finisher, but he's just straight up not having it. Man, for a really slow monster, he's dodging just about everything I throw at him, and I completely whiffed that. Ooh, nailed it! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Can we land the big money winner? Yes, 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 yes! Yes! <laughs> that felt so good. I even forgot that my gauge was full. I could have probably done an attack that would have dealt way more damage. But I was just so excited to land the entirety of that combo. Let's try this. Nice! Like I said, this is all about the big hitters. Damn it, even spamming I whiffed it. I need to get the, um, the movements of the Drask a little bit more and check oh wow oh that's right when i'm when i'm zapped up i can't actually uh absorb ether let me try that again I actually use two charges thank you now let's see if we can increase that damage a little bit more nope the only damage i'm increasing is the damage that he's dealing to me okay he's gonna whiff that on me Nice, we got two clean hits. 
As you guys can see, the gauge right now is purple. It is going to swap over to white if I manage to land uh, another really good hit. Okay, let's move away from there. Looks like he's already getting rezzed, so let me see if I can draw his attention over here. Okay, good. He's not attacking. That's another clean hit. As you guys can see, this weapon is all about the big numbers. So it's not really DPS. The name of the game here is just pure burst damage. Oh wow, that was an enrage. Did not account for that. Also interesting that we chopped the tail and I don't even know where the hell the damn thing is. Let me see if I can heal up. Uh, where's that tail? Because I could probably use those materials. I know that you guys are watching the video and you guys are like, It's right there, Rurikon! What are you doing? That was actually a bad attack. I should have gone for the static because he wasn't moving, but that's fine. Oh, nice. Someone froze him. Dude, we are so close to getting another gauge. Problem is that I'm also taking a lot of damage. And the fight has barely just begun. Come on. Nice. We have another gauge. Should be able to land it. Come on, come on. Oh, I was out of stamina. Oh, did he fall down? I still don't know all of his animations. Let's get in there. Why can't I do my special? What the hell is going on? For some reason, it's not letting me do my special. Okay, there's definitely something going on here. I don't know why it's not letting me do it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, and we set his ass on fire. Dude, that threw me off so hard. Like that whatever glitch that was that didn't let me do my special. Okay, let's get this, and I'm actually gonna heal. And this is the last heal. Let's see if we can make it. Okay, looks like it teleported away. Here we are again. See if we can keep the momentum going. Miss me ugly. There we go. Oh, my teammates are dying left and right. As Drask says, don't worry. I can fix that. And make you just as dead as they are. Damn it, stamina. This weapon is so stamina intensive. It's extremely hard to keep up with the upkeep. I actually wanted to see the ending of this combo. I was hoping that I would be able to tank it with resolve, but it took me too long. Oh, nice. Mm, another big hit. I don't even know what the hell just hit me there, but it hurt. Save our buddy. Danger is increasing. Okay, he's aiming for the other player. Nice. Let me actually heal myself as well. We're currently at level 3 with our weapon. Very nice. Let's see if we can squeeze in some more deeps. I'm talking about deeps. Squeeze in more burst. 
whiffed it. I should also mention that I only really started playing Axe a couple of minutes ago. Because I just unlocked it. No! The Reach! Oof. Away from that. I'm gonna let my companion there. No! Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage. Come on, Drask. You're not gonna cheese me out of this. Are you? No, you're just gonna flat out kill me. Yep. I'm gonna actually use my resurrection stone. Because the situation's not looking too profitable right now. Okay, my two partners are dead. And I'm gonna be joining them pretty soon. One of them used the res. I res the other one, and I took a massive hit for that. Move away. And I'm out of stamina. That's the thing about the axe. You're gonna be out of stamina a lot. Particularly if you're spamming dodges like I am. Is that the enrage that's coming? Oh. Again, I was trying to see if I could go for that resolve, but... And I'm dead. And we're all dead. Nope, one of my, one of my, uh, one of my dudes here is still alive. He's gonna res me. See if we can still score this one. Nice! I'm actually gonna go for the special. Stagger, stagger, stagger. Again, again, again. No, 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 that's, that's quite enough. But we did get him. Oh my God. <laughs> that was a really hard fought win. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack uh, in the comment section because I didn't play as well as I should have. But seriously, guys, that was still a really epic hunt. Uh, like I said, the axe, I said this at, at the end of this video, the axe requires a lot of knowledge of the behemoths, and I did not fight that many Drasks, so that was to be expected, but still, so satisfying every single time we staggered him. I love this weapon. So let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comment section below. Be sure to criticize my axe play. I'm all about <laughs> basically getting completely torn apart for what I did there. But anyway, let me know what you guys thought about it. Um, if you guys enjoyed my videos, remember, subscribe, hit that notification icon so that you're actually notified. And um, the end slate's coming up. So if you guys wanna watch some more of my videos, stay tuned for that. Click those videos, watch them if you want to. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.